we had this one. Yes, and then we had this little, or did we use this one now? This little blue one. I just love that little blue one. I like how that's just looking. That is just classic. And then let's try a little clear one on top. Do I have another little clear? I think I do. And is that hummingbird going to be too big at the bottom? You know, I really don't think it will be. I'm going with it. So I got to curl this down. I don't want to cut it because those cutters. We went to a gem show and my husband bought me a whole brand new jewelry set. It's called Design Wire. He paid over $50 for this set. And you know what? The cutters don't cut. The, the These, they broke right here. And so they became useless. The only thing I found that really works is, I got that stuck in there, is these pliers. I was just so disappointed in that set. And he really tried so hard, you know, to find me something that he knows I will use. Because normally when it comes to uh, things like this, he's like, oh, mm, you're on your own, honey. I love you, but I would, I have no idea what I would get you. Looking at this one. I don't know about that. Yeah, I do. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it because I like it. But I am going to have to try to cut this. So this is really going to be hard to do, especially with these cutters. They don't want to cut for some reason. Let's try. See? Well, what do you think of that? And I wish that wouldn't have flow, cut, flown off like that because you have to be careful because them little metal pieces flying, they could hit you in the eye or hit someone else in the eye. So be careful. Okay, let me push this back in. Yeah, that's good. Well, I do think that's pretty. So let me cut this one now. If it will cut. Oh, no, 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 I think that might have been, that one might be too big. I don't know. Maybe not. I think it's going to do the same thing. Let's see if I can bend this back a little bit. See, that is something I do. I oftentimes like the big uh, juniper rings because I like silver and I like, like to see them, you know, dangle there. But then on some I don't and I want minimal. I want more of the beads and then I cut them too small. So here we go. This matches up. I really like this. Those are beautiful. Now I'm going to hang this. Okay. We're going to see how this goes. I do think, um, okay. We're going to see. I don't know. I might enchant these. For, I'm not sure, but I love these. I love those hummingbirds. Absolutely. And that's not too big. It gives enough bling, but it doesn't take away from the hummingbird. You know, I really do like this set. I like how it's turning out. Let's see the hummingbird. I hear crows off in the distance. Close that back up a little more. Perfect. Straighten it out. Wow. Those are pretty. Let me get... Okay. Let me get a set of wires.
these were down for seam allowance. I don't know how much of this is in frame or out of frame, but I'm rolling with it. As I said, these videos that I create are in real time. And I think this is the last set I'm going to make now because I think it's getting nigh unto lunch. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, wow. And this is made out of a... Oops. No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, it looks like I am. It's a plastic bead. I'll pick it up in a minute. I don't want plastic beads on my earrings. There we go. Then I'm going to slide this through. I think I twisted that. I got so excited. I kind of twisted it. Let's see if I can straighten that out. There we go. Got it. Wow. Look at these. Did I mean for those to be cuffs and turn them into earrings? I don't know. But I love them so much. Those are really some pretty earrings and some pretty cuffs. But I'm going to end this video here as it's getting on time for lunch. And maybe I can come back on and we can create a couple more pairs of cuffs together. And maybe another set of earrings out of this bean bead. I'm sorry, bead. B-E-A-D. Soup mix. And see what we can come up with. Until then, look at this. Just a moment. So I have those and you know what I'm thinking when I come back, I'm going to see what I can find. These may not match up perfectly, but I don't care. I don't care because that's the challenge. I'm making them out of <laughs> excuse me, pollen or something. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at those. So we're going to have to determine which way we want them to go. But maybe when I come back after lunch, we'll check that out and then look here. See these purples? Man, I have weaknesses for purples. And then I thought I discovered a couple other purples. I need to see if I've got, if I can find mates for. And I may be able to find, find those and come back and we'll see what we can do. I do think I want to turn this one into a cuff. There's only one, so it would only be one cuff, but I really like this bead and we're going to have to find what we have to go with it. So I will return. Thank you for joining me and please subscribe to my station. Give me the thumbs up, leave a comment if you will, and share if you will. Ring the notification bell so you'll know when I, when I put up another video. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this journey of creating some very sacred and magical jewelry. Um, so grateful you're here to come along on this journey with me. I'm so grateful for you. I, with much love and gratitude for being on my channel, watching my videos, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. You know, I am just so grateful, so grateful for you being a part of my life on this beautiful, sacred, magical jewelry journey. Thank you for joining me. Please stay for forever magical and blessed be.